Veteran of the Bison secondary, Courtney Eubanks, joins us ahead of the, this weekend's playoff game against uh, Montana. And uh, well, first off, Thanksgiving, I'm sure kind of a welcome break for you. And uh, did you get a chance to kind of unplug, get away from football here for a little while? Yeah, that, Thanksgiving was a um, great break. You know, I got to eat a lot, got away from football. And, you know, for my mind, that was just great. And my body feels more feels better now going into the playoffs tough try to have to adjust your diet a little bit you know you want to want to enjoy thanksgiving but you got to still be uh, keep yourself keep yourself some kind of playing shape i'm sure i mean yeah but i ate all i could <laughs> no and i'm not too big but i mean it was great and you know i'm still on track i'm still on weight and my body feels great I mean, do you guys feel like that off week? Is it just kind of a chance, maybe, to kind of rest a little bit? It seems like I mean, there there are a number of you know number of injuries you guys have had to deal with overall as a team, but uh, you know, you, is, how much does that week help going into what you you know potentially you know three weeks or more? I mean, getting that getting that break is great because you know players get rest from. I know we had our bye week; it was late in the season, so you know. Before that, you know, we was kind of getting banged up, and then we come back after that bye week, and more games getting banged up more. So this break was amazing to get some rest and get your mind off of football a little. What was the feeling of the team with three guys uh, electing to go elsewhere and, uh, and and leave the program? Did it, did it feel that it kind of got the guys a little bit closer together? What was kind of the overall uh, overall feeling, especially a guy that you uh, worked with directly with Marquise? Um, Marquise was my boy, mm-hmm. but... You know, the the mindset of the team right now is, you know, we can't let something hold us back. We just got to keep moving forward. And we always preach next man up. So it's the next man up. You've been one of the guys throughout the secondary all year. And I've always talked to some of the guys in the defense. They never felt like they've played the, their best game yet. Do you, do you feel that uh, still uh, still is true? Yes, I still feel that is true. And our best game is yet to come, but it's coming. Well, maybe this week with Montana, I know they've got a couple of good receivers. They've, you know, guys that are really dual threats as return guys and receiving guys. I mean, what is the biggest, where's the biggest challenge for the secondary come from? I mean, it's a lot of challenges between teams. I don't think these are the best receivers we have faced, but they do put the ball in the air a lot. So this will be an exciting game. All right. Do you, and you kind of, do you feel too where, uh, you know, they can maybe get, you know, front three, front four guys can get some heat on you and make that make things a little easier for you in the secondary. Yeah, I like my guys up front. They always bring heat to the quarterback. So I mean, I don't I don't have no worries about them not getting there because I know they will. Right, you come in, uh, you come in where I mean, yeah, you're the national champions and still the favorite. But everybody's talking about South Dakota State. Do you still kind of feel like you know we're still here, still kind of lying in the weeds a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that we will win the championship. No doubt about it. But, you know, like I said, we haven't played our best game yet. It has yet to come. So when it does come, it will just keep flowing after that. The receiving core that Montana throws out there, who do they uh, compare to from what you've seen in the Valley or from an opponent you've seen this year? Um, no comparisons. You know, we just got to go and ball out. It's just the next, next opponent, next face in front of us. So we'll just go in there and execute our game. What's uh, what do you like the best about the preparation? You know, all the the, the days coming into uh, to the playoff uh, to a playoff run like this. What uh, what do you appreciate the most about it? I appreciate that we get this bye week. We get a bye week first round, and you know we get a chance to study like both teams without going into that week where we only have five, well, four days to get ready. We had at least seven, so. That that was a great getting that was great getting more days to get prepared for this. You know, season wise, it's kind of rate your season uh, individually. Individual, I mean, there's some things that I can get better at. Um, I know Montana tr- throws the ball up a lot, fifty fifty situations. So that's something that I've been working on at practice this week. And I mean, besides that, I feel like my season this has been a good season, and I'm only getting better from here. Well, I'd imagine too. Yeah, it's not like so much in they they did a lot of that against Simo too, where it's a lot of fifty fifty balls. It's not so much trying to control routes; it's just trying to get in right positioning and that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's more part of it. Getting in the right position, the execute and knock the ball out, or even get a pick. 
Right. Courtney Eubanks uh, getting ready for uh, the Bison and Montana. Appreciate it. Uh, good stuff. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.